what is evil and make that call. I believe that's why we continue to go over these things. Believe me, I was going to run to something else, but he won't let me out of this. He's not finished. He's shown us this for a reason. Y'all, we are in war. We're in a spiritual battle. Christianity is a spiritual battle where you realize or not that you can just sit there and be okay and, and sweet by and by one day. No, you in a battle. If you hadn't realized that yet, you will realize it if you're a real Christian. It's a spiritual battle. And he's very subtle. He's very cunning. And he comes, but guess what? We got the Holy Spirit that gives us a peek into his camp <laughs> and into his ways. <clears throat> this is what God was trying to tell them back in Deuteronomy 18. It says, verse 9. When thou art coming to the land which the Lord thy God gives thee. That's the same for us. When we come into the land of salvation, which is the Lord thy God who gives us salvation. When we come into that land, we need to put away all those things that we used to do. Amen. If we used to do yoga, put it away. There's no Christian yoga. The, the, the yoga priests over here in India are laughing at the church over here saying, how is it that y'all have Christian yoga in your church? Because that's our religion. It's not an exercise, it's demonic. <coughs> and it allows that enemy to wrap around the false gods of Shiva, I think it's Shiva and Shiva. And they supposedly wrap around the spine as the spine goes into an S as you form that yoga position. Did y'all know that? Uh -huh. We need to know this. How many pastors are brave enough or bold enough to get up here and tell you this is of the devil? I know it sounds funny, there's other devil though. <laughs> Not everything's of the devil, trust me, but there are some things for real that we need to stay away from. We need to call out. And if our family's into it, say, look, man, that's demonic. You can call me crazy all you want to, but one day when you wind up with a firm, when you wind up in an infirmity, when you wind up with an affliction, you'll find out that you've been in something unclean. And the only way to come out is repentance. Humble yourself and say, Lord God, I was wrong. It was sin. Because I worship a false God and call it you. Amen. Then we can be healed. There's many people who want their healing <coughs> without repentance. There's not, it's not a healing without repentance. You understand what I'm saying? Now here's another thing. This thing loves to go to Benny Hinn. Oh yeah. Because people think they become healed when someone's preaching a false gospel. <laughs> And they think God's anointing this man to heal when he's preaching there's nine different spirits. There's not nine spirits of the Lord. There's one Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Well, how come the people are getting healed? Well, do you know if Python has wrapped himself around there, the spirit of infirmity has got them, he can't release his grip. Uh -huh. Amen. Remember I told you at the very beginning, he squeezes and lets up. Squeezes and lets up. That's why you find some people that do good for a while, go back down. Do good for a while, go back down. Or the church does good and then goes down. Go, does good and goes down. Then you got Python working. And he's working against the church. He's working against this church. Trust me. We go up and down, up and down, up and down. It squeezes, constricts, and then lets loose with a heart become beaten again. And life starts flowing through the veins again. And then it squeezes again. Then it lets up. That's what the snake does. That's what the spirit does. Well, guess what? When people go down there to get healed, it lets off the infirmity and they feel like, wow, I can walk. But if you see the testimonies and you go down through the testimonies of time and find out from the early, late 70s, 80s, and 90s and find out the people that supposedly got healed, they're worse off now than they was then. I'm not kidding. I kid you not. People that were kicked in the head by Todd Bickley with this spirit working in Florida are worse off now and possessed. There's testimonies where they come back, they come out of the wheelchair and walk, and for several months were supposedly healed, and then all of a sudden they came up with not only bipolar, but what you call it, quadpolar. They had four different personalities. <clears throat> I'm serious, this is true. <coughs> but here, us in the church being charismatic and all that, man, I'm going to run to anything. I see a great light. You know, Satan himself poses as a what? An angel of light. If they're preaching any other thing than this gospel here, it's not God confirming it. Amen. I'm telling you now. I would rather stay sick than receive a demonic spirit. Amen. Amen. I would rather go see the Lord in my cancer and infirmity and just die of this old fleshly body and let it go back to the ground. Let it go back to the ground where it came from and let my spirit and soul be with Jesus than for me to die healed and go to hell because Python released his grip and let me believe something false. Amen. 
Y'all see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. This needs to be preached. I know it sounds crazy. Sometimes you're like, man, this is not a regular sermon. Well, this is not a regular series. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure people are like, Leviathan, y'all hear about what? We need to hear about these things. Because we don't need to be participating in this kind of stuff. And they're going to crank up. They're not going to go by the wayside and say, well, that was back the end. That don't happen no more. Buddy, it's fixing to crank up through the churches that you thought were preaching the truth. There's going to be people coming to town, soothsayers, and they're going to be just like this girl right there. <coughs> and nobody's going to turn when you come. Because guess why? Because they're making their masters money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they're making their masters yeah. much, much money. money where they can build these great assemblies and put it up on their heel. And they can put it, and they can say, oh, as long as you're making me money, keep on prophesying. I see results. I'm going to chase signs, wonders, and miracles. Well, I mean, Jesus, is, he's anointed this service. That's what they'll believe. That's what they'll say. Because of money, money, money. I can't wait till the monetary system falls apart. Because of the evil that we find ourselves in. I can't wait till next Sunday to preach Palm Sunday sermon. Because the first thing Jesus did, praise God, when he got off that donkey, was clean all them money changers out of the temple. <laughs> and the two slayers got to go too. They got to go. Thank God. Maybe people will start getting saved then. And stop getting this, whatever this thing is, which is like false conversion. But he tells them this. When, the Lord, when thou art coming to the land which the Lord thy God gives thee, Thou shalt not learn to do after the abominations of those nations. There shall not be found among you anyone that makes his son or daughter pass through the fire. Well, there's your abortion right there. Mm -hmm. Or that uses divination. Mm -hmm. Or an observer of times. Or an enchanter. Or a witch. Or a charmer. Or a consulter with familiar spirits. Do y'all know what familiar spirits are? Yep. They're real popular today. You find... Is it Jonathan Edwards? Who? Yeah. I think it's a guy named Jonathan Edwards. Yes. He used to be on TV. I'm not sure if he still is. This demon in him, divination, demon of Python, they call up and act like they can talk to your long lost one. Oh. Your long lost loved one. They say, wow. Remember I told you this morning about the book of the shack? Mm -hmm. This thing loves to mess with your emotions. And tears are running, and we see them tears, and then we start getting tears. And say, oh, that is so sweet. Mm -hmm. He done called up that person's Uncle Bob, and Uncle Bob is telling that person how much they love him, and, and, and where they left the, the check. <laughs> <laughs> These are spirits. Yeah. And the Lord says, I went to, I've gone to the cross and died for you. I've carried you into the promised land already. Being filled with the Holy Spirit, the kingdom of God is within you. And here you are in this land, and you sometimes go towards this that the abominations of the other nations do. Mm -hmm. 